I'm glad to have you here. I'm always excited when you're on the show because I really want people to know the the buyer agent specialists on our team, of which you are one, and you do such a great job. We're very customer oriented on our team, and I just want people to know that. And the best way to do that is to have you guys on the t- uh, on the show, and uh, just to uh, present. Uh, how you like to work. So, Tracy, one of the things I'd like to ask you, how does a person get started in the process of buying a home, and how long uh, does it take? Well, Bernie, the the first step in our office is to come meet with me. Uh, I prefer to meet in our office. We can meet about anywhere. Uh, The next step is going to be that I'm going to ask you to take is to meet with our lender, Of course, Linda Mister with Highlands Residential Mortgage is here today, and I'll have to say she is the bomb. So uh, that first step is really important. We get together and we talk. Uh, We talk about uh, what area you want to live in, what your likes and dislikes are, when do you want to move, where do you want to live, and what's your budget. So that pre-approval is key in determining your budget. So that that really is step one. Meeting with me is step one, but but really the pre-approval is step one. So we can handle those simultaneously in our office, meet with me and the lender. I really like to set a computer up in in our conference room and and sit down with clients. And uh, as you know, on the MLS, the, the update that came out last year, we can actually draw on a map the areas that you're interested in. So even if there's just one single neighborhood, uh, let's say in North Fort Worth. If you're going to live in North Fort Worth, I want to live in this neighborhood. We can actually draw that on a map. And then there's another neighborhood in East Fort Worth that you'd live in. We can draw that on the map. So we can really fine tune the search, price, what you're looking for, number of bedrooms, baths, area, and and truly develop the search in the office on the spot so that the next step we can take is house hunting if somebody were to find a home today for instance if they're working with you and they uh, and they found a home today and you wrote an offer for them how long would would it take for them to get into that home very good question Uh, a lot of that depends on two things the lender you choose but also what the seller's expectations are. And so one of the things I really like to do, number one, is help you get with a good lender. But number two, I try to identify not only what your needs are as a buyer, but the seller's needs as well. A lot of times, uh, I believe Terry touched on this earlier, uh, the, the sellers don't know where they're going. So if we can find that out, that the sellers don't know where they're going, we may be able to negotiate a good price on a home with some flexible uh, possession terms with that seller. Uh, People that are renting apartments are great, great candidates for this type of negotiation. Let's say their lease is not up until March of next year. We can still go ahead today and start shopping for a home. Uh, We will close in 30 to 45 days, and maybe we offer that seller some flexible possession terms. So 30 to 45 days is the answer to the question, but we can go longer if we need to, and that can help us in those negotiations.